Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. Planet Cryos here and we're going to do another video for you. I've got a used Asus 1660 Super and I know it's old. I know it's a few generations old, but the person who I bought it from, this cost me 20 bucks. $20. 20 big ones. Not much. So we're going to see if we can get this thing running. He did complain that it had uh, purple lines or the screen was purple or something like that. So we're probably going to, we're going to test this out, see if it does what he says it does. Then we're going to disassemble it and put new thermal compound on it. See if we see anything that's um, worth fixing in it. And from we'll go from there. Whether or not this works, I'm still going to post this video just to see. But I'm going to get you right overhead and we're going to take this thing apart. But first, we got to see if it works. And this thing stinks like it was nasty. So it was probably used and abused. But I thought for 20 bucks, make a video, see if we can get it to work. Why not? So if you want to see how it turns out, stick around. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like. It's dirty, way dirtier than anything I get. You get two HDMIs, nope, one HDMI, one display port. Yep, and one DVI. Here's the pins. And we'll switch over here. Here's the pins on that side. And we got both the fans spin which is good, but yeah, she is filthy. This is uh, definitely dirty. So let's get this plugged in. All right, guys, so fingers crossed, we have this thing um, now on the motherboard and uh, we got our supplement power connected to it and I have my power on and off switch connected. So we're going to flip this on and pray. Oh, we do have our HDMI uh, output hooked up and let's power on and hope for no smoke. So far, good sign. And let's go ahead and power this up. Fan spin. Oh, I have this hooked up to the wrong output. Well, let's see what we get, if anything. I've got no um, no Windows or even a solid state drive hooked up to this. So I'm just kind of looking for a post possibly. But this isn't working so far. All right, so we have gotten nothing. Oh, I take that back. So we do, we have purple. BIOS has been reset. Please yeah, reconfigure configure the BIOS. So we do have purple dots all over the screen. I'm going to get you a quick shot of that. All right, guys, you can see right there all over the screen, purple dots. So now we get to have some fun and see if we can take this thing apart and see if there's anything noticeable. If not, I don't suspect we will find anything noticeable. We may find some dry compound, um, thermal compound or something like that. But uh, we're going to reapply that, tweak it a little bit. Maybe we'll get lucky and we, you know, it's probably got, uh, you know, a cold solder, solder joint or something, a chip bat or something in it. I don't know. I haven't done much research behind why this would do it. So uh, we're just going to give it a go and see what we can uh, figure out. If you do, if we're at this point and you th you've been through this, leave a comment down below for me if you realize what it is. I mean, this is just a, a thing that I'm trying. That's all. I just want to see what we can do. All right, we got our trusty iFixit toolkit right here. I've only used this a couple of times. This thing's pretty nice, actually. You get all these bits with it.
These springs are, there's little springs on these. Um, those are for keeping the, uh, the um, GPU to the heat sink. And I'm trying to put these screws in the order that, in the way that this is coming off of the board, or somewhat. See, this one was really loose. Like it's, oh yeah, see that's broke. This has been apart before. Somebody's pulled this apart. Okay. Yeah, I, I pulled that apart wrong. First time pull, pulling one of these apart. Let's get these big chunks off if we can. Just got some, uh, 99% isopropyl alcohol here. And we're just going to clean this. I'm gonna wash this probably in the sink or something and run a brush through it maybe, and just get a little cleaner. Of course, I forgot to hit record when I was putting the um, graphics card back together, but you did see me take it apart, I hope. Um, anyway, this is, you know, it's a lot cleaner. There were some broken pieces for the plastic that holds everything together, so it's not 100%. I did go ahead, and you can see that the blue uh, thermal pad there, that is new along with the other one that goes uh, the other direction. So those are all new. I did have some thermo pads here. So yeah, um, it's a heck of a lot cleaner. Not perfect, but let's see if it works. All right, let's turn our power supply on and give this a go. No smoke is always good. I do have to switch the input on the TV uh, we're going to give this a power up. Still works as far as spinning. This always helps. Forgot that last time. Just waiting for a signal here to see what's going to happen. Okay, so no signal in the first minute or so here. Trying to be patient, but I'm not seeing anything. And maybe I'll restart this because this wasn't plugged in. Sometimes that happens with uh, DisplayPort. If you don't plug it in before you start the system, it won't actually display anything. And we could have done something to it, taken apart and put it back together. Something could have gotten all wacky and then just finally, you know, broke that solder piece. Um, it's hard to tell. I'll unplug it and plug it back in. Nothing, no signal whatsoever. Okay, let's turn it off. Make sure we got all the power out of it. Let's turn it back on. Let's see what happens this time. Ah! Guys, check this out. I'm sneaking the camera around here, trying to be gracious with it. Look at that. No purple whatsoever. Ha! 
that is awesome. So we can, we don't have a keyboard or anything hooked up to it, but I did show you that purple that was all over this screen. All right, guys, so this is absolutely amazing. I'm hoping that it's fixed for 20 bucks and an hour's worth of my time disassembling, reassembling it, you know, cleaning everything and putting new thermal compound on it. I don't know. We may have tweaked something, but I'm going to put an operating system on here. We're going to run uh, Heaven's Benchmark. And yeah, I want to see if this thing will, will function. So I just got to put a, uh, uh, an NVMe drive in it, put Windows uh, on it and see where we go from there. So let's stick around for a minute. So unfortunately, this card is just not going to function properly. I was really surprised that it worked and I was glad that it worked. Um, and it does until you go and you download or install the, well, until you install the driver for it from NVIDIA, whether it's a direct install right from there, uh, from a thumb drive, or if it's automatic through Windows, I try both. Um, during the install process, when it actually changes to the new driver, the screen uh, just goes black, doesn't really come back. Uh, PC goes and in, sometimes into a boot loop. Um, I try to uninstall the drivers a couple of times and it's just not working properly. So um, I did hook it up to my other monitor. You can still get back into Windows 10 and it, it has a bunch of those blue or green marks. So it's probably got a, one of the, um, one of the chips on there is malfunctioning because I can twist the card and I can get it to change colors. So something's funky on there, but I'm not going to waste my time with it. It was only 20 bucks. So uh, unfortunately, yeah, that's where it sits. So this video kind of ended in a bummer. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, that's it. Uh, sorry this wasn't more, but it just goes to show that you can't get everything fixed. I don't think I'm going to tinker with it. I think I'm just going to let it go. But uh, anyway... Share, like the comments, actually comment down below if you've ever had this problem and maybe you uh, know exactly what to fix, but I'm not going to waste my time putting effort into figuring out what's wrong with it. It's just not worth my time. But if you do have a suggestion, um, leave it in the comments down below and give this a thumbs up if you don't mind. And until next time, guys, take care.